Hello fellow hobbyists, I'm Jason and I'm going to show you how to paint orc boys right here on Level Up Hobbies. Let's get painting. And now we're going to begin painting the last boy in the series and that is my favorite, the Death Skulls. The ones who don't throw anything away. They will use everything in the kitchen sink and make some awesome weapons from it. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, start painting this boy here. Uh, to begin with, we're going to prime him black, obviously. Use your black primer of choice. And then we're going to give him a nice little uh, even base coat of a gray sear. And this is just to lighten up that uh, base coat so that the, uh, the colors that we're going to be going to be applying fairly soon have a, a nice light canvas that they can uh, shine on. So let's go ahead and get this base coat down and we'll see you in a bit. And now I move right into painting the base. And for this I'm using a, a medium brown. This is Vallejo German camo medium brown. Um, obviously use whatever basing material, basing color that uh, you know that goes along with the army that you're creating. Um, but this is just to get this done so I don't have to worry about getting any of this paint on the model later on. Uh, just to get it out of the way, not to worry about it later. And from there we're going to move right into the skin and for that I'm using that's right, Elysian Green. I think I've used this for all of the skin tones, at least the base color in this series. And I really gotta say, it's probably one of my favorite base coats for Orc skin at the moment. Uh, it's very versatile and it, it takes a, uh, a glaze or a wash uh, very nicely. And you can alter that color um, in a lot of different ways, which you can see by looking at my other videos on how I painted the orc skin tones. So go ahead and uh, paint on this Elysian green. It'll take about two coats, uh, thin slightly uh, to get some really good coverage, but once it's on, it looks great. And now we're moving on to the clothing and to start, we're gonna uh, paint in the pants. For that, I'm using another medium brown. For this, it is Citadel's Steel Legion Drab. Um, this is a, a very nice medium brown. It's got good coverage. Um, I did thin it, so it's gonna take uh, about two coats to, uh, to get total coverage on here. But really, you don't need to worry about it. If it's blotchy, that's fine. It kinda goes along with the, the look that I'm going for, like very dirty, worn clothing, so don't worry. Paint it on here, put two coats on if you want, put one on if you want, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm moving on to the shirt, and for this I'm going to give it a base coat of Grace here. Um, this is going to take a wash later, so um, for this I kind of want some decent coverage on here. It doesn't really matter if it's a little splotchy, um, you don't need a really solid coat because you know, it, it needs to look like it's worn and dirty and used anyway. So paint it on and we'll move on to the next step. And now for all the leather, leather bits of the model, you know, the boots, you know, belts, pouches, whatnot. I am using some Citadel Contrast Sigor Brown. Uh, this is a nice dark brown uh, and it's going to give me some good variation between the the, the different leathers that he's wearing here. And now the part that makes a death skull a death skull, besides them looting everything in existence, uh, their iconic blue paint. So for this I am using Citadel's Kalidor Sky. I think this is a nice nice blue it's not too dark it's not too light and it plays very well with the death skull theme um, and it takes some checks very well so let's go ahead and get this on we're just going to pick out some points on the model we've got the uh, the gun casing the shoulder pad a couple other things so let's get these painted
And right here, I'm still just kind of debating on what all I'm going to paint blue because even with orcs, I think there's a fine line of uh, picking out that uh, that contrast color, that uh, defining color, to where it's not over the top, but it's just enough coverage to where it looks great. And in my opinion, like it it should be the most dominant color on the model, but it shouldn't be the entirety of the model. So uh, I just I, I think you got to be selective in what you pick out with these colors, or else it just I don't know. In my opinion, it just it it loses um, it loses focus. Really, maybe that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'm trying to pick out, you know, uh, what parts I want blue here, so. And now I grab some Corax white and I base a couple of the items on here. Uh, the sword in preparation of another color and then some of the uh, the other bits. I just, I just wanted white just to kind of offset that blue a little bit. Usually at this point, if I was going to paint any uh, any white checks on the blue armor, um, this is when I would do it also. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this on. At this point, I grab the Nasdrag yellow contrast paint and I just slop it right on this sword here. Um, I think the Nasdrag Yellow, uh, it offers a very nice kind of dirty yellow, if you will. Um, once it dries and settles, you get some nice variations in between like yellow and orange, like shadowy areas. And I think it looks very well in contrast with uh, the rest of the model here. So go ahead and paint this on, clean up some spots where you want it, and then... Uh, let it dry and we'll move on. Hey guys, if you're liking the video and you want to help out the channel some, uh, give me a like down below. You can subscribe, you can share my content, and leave some comments. All of those go a long way to helping out the channel. Alright, let's get back to painting. And at this point, I start painting in some of the steel portions of the model. Actually, all of the steel portions of the model. And for this, I am using some Citadel's Lead Belcher. Here, I grab some black paint. And I start adding some of the detail work to this chain sword, just adding some of the black hazard stripes along the sides. Um, and for this, I just freehand it in, just kind of estimating how wide I want the stripes and which direction I'm wanting them to run. Uh, just take your time, paint them in, uh, fill them in slowly. That way you don't make your lines too wide or too narrow and they look fairly, uh, fairly uniform. Um, it doesn't really matter um, if they're perfect. This is, you know, this is going to be a group of boys. So, you know, none of the detail work needs to look perfect. Save that for your, your HQ, your, your characters. And I continue the detail work here by painting in some checks on this stick bomb. And for this, I do a simple hatch uh, pattern on it, and then I fill in every other square until it looks like a checkered pattern. You can watch my video on how to paint orc checks and dags, and that offers a little bit more um, insight and direction on how to paint them uh, in, in a couple different ways. So uh, go ahead and check out that video. I think uh, you can get a lot from that. But I'm gonna finish these off and uh, just add a little bit more detail work to this guy. Okay. 
grab some Ushabti bone and I uh, put a base coat on these teeth. And now I take about a four to one mix of Plague Bearer Flesh and Dark Angel's Green. And I thin that heavily with contrast medium and I just paint that right on the skin. And this is where the magic kind of happens with this skin tone uh, for well, really all of my orcs. Um, it adds that really great shade and uh, kind of runs off the top so it leaves those highlights. Um, I will go back in later and uh, you know kind of make these pop a little bit more but for just a quick uh, orc skin tone um, this is a great method here. And if you want to check out my other orc videos on how I uh, painted skin tones you can check those out. Um, I try to do variations through each one so um, there's uh, a different skin colors but they're very similar. And now for the rest of the model, I just take some Agrax Earthshade and I paint it over uh, everything except for the orc skin. Um, I just want to get this on here, get some you know shade down in the recesses, and kind of tone down some of these colors too. Like the blue, it's a little bright. Uh, this Agrax Earthshade will, will bring this back down. It kind of homogenizes these colors uh, a little bit more. And at this point, I got really upset because I forgot to record this next step. It really sucked. But, so what I did is I went through and I uh, highlighted the skin. And for that, I used a mixture of the Elysian Green and Moot Green, just to add a little bit more yellow tone to that. And then I took some Wraith Bone and I just, you know, just mix that in to lighten it up a bit. Just kind of layered it on the face and some of the arms and hands areas. Um, then I added some blue paint to the face, uh, give it a little bit more of that Death Skull theme. With that, again, I used the Kalidor Sky, painted that in there. Um, then I went through and I highlighted up the blue portion, so the armor and the face. And for that, I use some Vallejo Game Color Steel Gray. This is a very nice gray blue, and for as you can see, like you know, for this Calador Sky, I think it adds a great highlight that's not over the top. Um, for the face, I mixed the Calador Sky and the Steel Gray uh, together just to make that highlight. Uh, again, yeah. It sucks I did not record that because I had some really interesting stuff going on there. Now I hit the base with a light dry brushing of Ushab Deep Bone just to bring out those highlights. And from there I'm going to just paint that rim uh, a nice black. Just tie it all together and uh, finish up this base. And he's done. Um, I think having a mob of these boys on the tabletop would look awesome. And the techniques and color scheme that I've picked makes it possible to do this with minimal effort. And that's the whole idea of this series was to paint up orc boys, minimal effort, you know, maximum output. So, uh, but it's not a speed painting. So, I mean, I think it's got a, a fairly high tabletop value here to it. Uh, hopefully you guys have taken some, or can 
take some bits and pieces of this and add it to your own. Um, you know, do as you wish. Uh, check out my other videos on how I painted the other orc clans. I think uh, they've got some interesting stuff in it. And thanks for joining me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here today on Level Up Hobbies as I painted up this orc boy. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I publish new videos. Thanks again, and remember, build, paint, and play tabletop games. Later.